Hi everyone, it's Ian from Q-Tips and today I thought I would create a brief video to discuss self-intersecting polygons and then the geometry, geometry errors that you might get with that. So what I've done is I've created a little folder on my desktop and I've called it Fix Geometry and in that folder we've just got uh, a project and then a spatial folder and that is it. And then I've created a little project and I've just added the OpenStreetMap roads as well as the provincial boundaries just uh, to get some base data and then also to have a layer that I can then clip. Right. So what I'll first do is just create a, a shortcut to that folder. So on my desktop, fix geometries. And then I will rename this just to fix geometries. There we go. So now I've got a shortcut uh, in my browser to that project folder. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a polygon. It's a new polygon layer and I'm going to deliberately do a create a self-intersecting polygon and show you the potential pitfalls of having something like that in your project. So I'm going to right click on my spatial folder. I'm going to say new shape file and I will call it new layer. Oh, let's just go with the default. Let's call it new layer and it's going to be a polygon and we don't really need any attributes but I'll just give it uh, a one column in the attribute table and the same projection as the, the layer or the same coordinate reference system as my project. So we can say OK. And now what I want to do is I'm going to zoom into some of these roads down here somewhere. Let's, let's zoom into the suburb and there seem to be quite a few roads that we can capture. Okay, so I want to add that new layer to my project and I'm going to quickly give it a color so that I can see what I'm doing and I think I will choose a nice pink color. That should work. And then I'll just make my transparency or my opacity 50%. And now there's nothing showing up because we haven't captured any new features yet. So let's capture a feature and see if I can make a, well, create an error. So I'm going to toggle editing, create a new feature, and then I'm going to digitize my polygon. And here we go. I'm digitizing my polygon like this. And then what I'm going to do, instead of continuing and finishing, I'm going to cross over my boundary. And then I'm going to right click to finish. So you see what happens there is I'm actually crossing over my own boundary. So self-intersecting. So if you can imagine a piece of paper folded over, that's what this little triangle on the top right hand corner is going to look like. So let's just digitize one point outside that to create the error. So you can see the little X indicating that we have intersected uh, an existing line in our polygon or boundary in our polygon. I'll right click to finish and just give it an ID and a name. I'll just give it a name name and say OK. And it doesn't have a problem creating that polygon. The problem will come when we actually try to use this polygon in any other geoprocessing processes. So let's stop editing and say save. And we will save this little project. And now let's imagine we want to use this polygon to clip out the OpenStreetMap roads. So what we can do is we can come down here and we can type in clip. See it was already there clip and we're going to access the algorithm so double click to open that and we want to clip the roads using the new layer and we'll just create a, um, a temporary layer so that's fine and we'll allow the project to add it we'll allow the algorithm to add it to the project when it's finished and let's click run and it won't work it says we have invalid geometry please fix the geometry okay so let's close that so clearly by, by, by digitizing and creating a self-intersecting polygon, we have now got a geometry error. So I want to show you how you can quickly fix that. So we're going to uh, type in fix in our little search window here. And we are not going to open the algorithm. We're just going to click on fix geometries of the selected feature. So the new layers is the selected layer or the active layer in our layers panel. So we can choose this option and it says executing algorithm fixed geometries and it says it's at 100% and you'll see that our new layers 
has been uh, an editing session has been opened up and I am going to assume that it has fixed geometries so I'm going to say toggle editing save and save the edits and then I'll deselect right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing I'm going to use this layer which I have run the uh, fixed geometries algorithm on and I'm going to clip again so let's try that again so I'm going to clip I want to clip the roads with the new layers and I'll create a temporary layer and click run and let's close that and let's just put this temporary layer on top and maybe just quickly change the color of that just to something we can see so I've got my color picker on the right hand side here I'll say OK, apply and OK and there we can see uh, we have now fixed the geometry errors for that polygon and when we ran the clip the second time around it allowed us to clip out the, the open street map lines for that polygon so that's all I really wanted to show you just discuss briefly what a, a self intersecting polygon is and how you can fix the that particular layer's geometry and that's it for this uh, brief tutorial check you later cheers